You, you made the comment earlier that more than likely my, my network has been breached, right? If I'm a healthcare system, I'm a target. And we know that they're targeted because of the FBI warning and the stuff that just went out. So how do I know? I mean, if, so if a CEO or a board member is, is listening to this podcast right now, I, I mean, do they just go into their, to their CISO and say, prove to me that we haven't been breached. Prove to me that we're not currently breached. I mean, how do they, how do they determine that they haven't been breached? And, and that's the problem. You can't. You, you, you can prove a negative. You can't prove a positive. I can go in after you have a breach. I can say, yeah, you've been breached, but it's hard to go in and be totally comprehensive. However, some things you could start doing is one, have a security metric. You've worked in IT. Most CIOs have a metric, five nines. That, that, that's their focus. The board understands it. They understand that their team understands it. If they deliver 99.999% uptime availability, everything is good. The problem is we don't have those metrics in security. So you need to get a five nines of security. You need to get a single metric that your security team is providing you. And where I recommend starting is just for a couple of months, have them tell you the number of attempted attacks against your organization on a weekly basis. Because most CEOs and board of directors don't realize how bad the problem is. When I ask them that question, they go, Eric, it's probably eight or 10. <laughs> and I said, what if I told you for your organization, it was 80,000 a day. And they're like, they, they have no idea how bad the problem is. So we need to, not with FUD or emotion, we need to get factual data and start showing them the real data and the real information. The second thing that most organizations do today is they do traditional incident response. Traditional incident response is you sit back and you wait for the smoke. You wait for something visible. The problem is other than ransomware, these attacks are invisible. They're stealthy, they're targeted, there's nothing. So you're sitting back saying, I don't hear anything, I don't see anything, we must be good, and that's very dangerous. What I would urge an executive to have their team do is something called proactive incident response or threat hunting. What if we have people that every month they aggressively look in the organization for signs of compromise? They're aggressively going in and looking for problems or issues so you can go in and catch them early. I'm very, very big on overall health. I get my blood work done every quarter. And the reason is simple. If I wait for there to be a visible sign of something wrong with me, it's usually to a point where it's really bad or it's inoperable. So by getting the blood work done every quarter, I'm looking inside and I'm getting visibility you wouldn't be able to see externally. That's what threat hunting is. You need to go in quarterly, aggressively attack your own network, look for signs of compromise and start getting more visibility into what's happening. Don't just sit back and wait for your company to appear on the nightly news that you've had a breach.